it, guys. And we're away again, guys. Whoa! <laughs> uh, if, I, if I wasn't soaked before, I am absolutely covered in head to toe now, guys. Wow. Oh, well, well, well. What do we have here? Yeah, you thought I'd throw these away, guys. These were, uh, I think it was drain number bloody oh, 42, maybe. We found these up a drain, and uh, yeah, they're in the toolbox now. I mean, I don't have any crew members to help me out, but I've certainly got a nice pair of undies to, you know, finishing touches, clean things off. I'll probably bloody link the, uh, the video number 42. For any of you who haven't seen and totally lost on the undie joke, I'll link that at the end of the video. You can have a look where the undies came from. But anyway, we've got some work to do and this is absolutely rotten. I don't know about you guys, but this is how I like to start my day. So wherever you are in the world, put your bloody feet up, get yourself a nice cold frothy or a chalky milk or a wine or I don't know, get yourself a snack, but just make sure your feet are up and just sit back and bloody relax, you know? Let's get stuck into this one, guys. We'll just try and feed this down as uh, as far as we can go, and then we'll turn the jet on. We're all right. All right, it was only a couple of meters down. We've hit that blockage. It's starting to drain away, but uh, might get the camera down there in a sec, guys. I don't think it's 100% yet, but we're just going to give it an absolute blasting just to make sure. But uh, yeah, yeah, she's still uh, still a little bit full. Yeah, take it from me, guys. This drain is a bloody. It's disgusting. This is. Yeah, she's starting to go now. This is bloody. It's bloody rotten. This one. Give the dunny a flush. And yeah, she's starting to go there, and she's starting to bloody work her bloody magic. You can hear the drains bloody gurgling away now, guys. Let's go and check uh, check the other bathrooms out. All right, that's uh, it's looking good. Basin's looking good, and then the dunny's uh, looking pretty bloody good too. Let's give her a flush. No complaints there. Let's have a look in here. All right, the floor waste is clear. The toilet's clear. Let's give her a flush. Looks good to me. Now, before I put that inspection cap back on, I'll uh, I'll send the camera down just to make sure she's uh, she's sweet as a nut. All right, it was around about this point here that we were uh, that we were jetting. It's just a couple of. Like a junction from the uh, the other bathroom there. It all seemed like it was caught up, you know. It's uh, been a public toilet. Who knows what goes down these things? But we'll give the dunny a flush in a second. We'll just see that she's flowing nicely. Any second now, guys? There we are. Oh, we're upside down. You can see that's flowing bloody beautifully now, guys. Well, we'll have a look a little bit further around the corner here, but uh, it's all looking pretty bloody good to me, guys. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to pull this camera out the drain. Everything's looking good. We'll pack up and then uh, we'll probably give these lads at centre management of this shopping centre a hand cleaning the dunnies up because... Uh, Look, it's not uh, not my job, but they're a, they're a good team of blokes. So I'll turn this off. We'll take the camera out. We'll give it all a bit of a, a clean up. But there's some disinfectant that I prepared earlier. And guys, there they are. Hello, hello, hello. We've got the undies. Give the uh, give the camera a bit of a clean up with the undies, and uh, she'll be all Mickey Mouse. And then we'll we'll start cleaning the toilet block up. All 
All right, guys, I'm going to throw buckets and buckets down and give this a good clean. But, guys, I just wanted to make you aware, the drain addict, the uh, the king of drain cleaning on YouTube, he did a live stream last night. So if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It was a bloody two hours of entertainment. The guy's not only is he full of bloody knowledge, but, uh, you know, he's, he's a good bloke. He's a really good bloke. So you get to see him, uh, the man behind the camera, doing two hours of Q&A. So it's well worth a look, guys. He was the one that started this, uh, this whole drain cleaning community. So props to him. He's... He's a bloody champion of the community. Yeah, guys, as I'm cleaning this up, I've got to shout out to me followers, you know, me subscribe. Oh, wow, this is delicious, isn't it? Pop that in there. But anyway, as always, bloody uh, saying, guys, I've got to say thank you very much to all the people that subscribe to the channel. You know, it's not my channel, it's our channel, you know. it's We're building up quite the family, you know. We're not the size of the drain addict, but that's okay, you know. it's uh, We're just having a good time. We're having a laugh here. And uh, look, when I say that I appreciate the support, I mean it, guys. So... Thank you very much. All right, we got a flooded car park and it's all due to me, guys. Last week I was clearing out those grease traps and I put a tarp over these soak wells because I didn't want any grease going down the soak wells. But I've now cleaned the car park up and uh, we have the pleasure of taking the tarp off and letting the water go. Let's do it, guys. Oh, how bloody satisfying is that? got another soak well we're gonna to have to take the tarp off just around the corner of the building here guys so one down one to go and here's the other soak well I covered up and oh yes yes I can hear you at the back Bruce you you're bloody deliberately covering soak wells for content and gonna get bloody wet feet here but no mate I covered it up because I didn't want grease going down the tank Alright, got a little bit of foot protection now guys got the old gum boots on I don't want wet feet for the rest of the day but Try and rip this up. Bloody hell. He's uh... Ugh. Bloody jammed in there, mate. Alright, for now, I'll just cut a hole in it and then I'll, uh, I'll get the crowbar out and dislodge it. There's something bloody satisfying about a whirlpool, isn't there? Let's speed her up a little bit.
Well, if, I guess if you're going to throw rubbish on the floor, it's, uh, it's probably best you throw these bloody uh, these wooden spoons and forks and all sorts, isn't it? But it's uh, the way the world's going now. And there's another one. On a side note, guys, I've never understood why people bloody throw their rubbish on the floor or on the ground. It's just, it just blows my mind. I don't know. I, I'm not going to go on about it. Anyway. Anyway. Now, you know what? I'm going to have a little bit of a rant. I mean, what goes through some bloody idiot's mind to just throw their rubbish out the car window, you know? Oh, I've finished me Maccas, you know? We'll just chuck it out the window. Oh, I've done me can of coke. Just out the window she goes, you know? Pull your bloody head in, you pelican. The car coming. This is your opportunity, buddy. What are you doing? You're changing lanes on me. Oh, mate. What a bloody nice guy. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! This floor waste drain here, so the whole main drain's been jet cleaned, but this floor waste drain is obviously chockers. So let's get stuck in, guys. Boots are getting a little bit dirty. Oh, there she goes. There she goes, guys. You gotta bloody love it. Oh, no, she doesn't. Oh, yes, she does. No, no, she doesn't. No, oh, yep, she does. Oh, what? Oh, I'm gonna lose the plot here in a second, guys. What is going on? Oh, and yes, yes, I can hear you in the back row, mate. Oh, Bruce, Bruce, you lost the plot years ago, mate. And yes, I can bloody... Oh, I, look, I can agree with you on that one, mate. I, I lost the plot a long time ago, guys. I'm just going to go back and forth over this blockage a couple of times because there's obviously... You know, she's clogged, mate, but... Here we go. I think we got her then. It's kind of like fishing, guys. You can, you can really feel it. You can feel when you got something. All right, so we'll pour some soapy water down and see how she travels, guys. Oh, look, like a dream, mate. Like a bloody dream. I mean, I'm bloody half tempted just to jump in there and have a little bubble bath in me speedos, mate. She's that clear. All righty, guys, the final test. We're gonna bloody, uh, we're gonna drain these sinks now. Turn them all on. Go for a wander out down to the grease trap because we've still got the lids open. We're just going to see that she's all running through nice and clear. Have a look in here. Oh, mate. Isn't it bloody magical? Just sit back, put your bloody feet up, you know, get yourself a frothy and just enjoy. This is what it's all about. Guys, give yourselves a big bloody pat on the back and take the rest of the day off. Or should I just rip the bloody thing off? She's under a bit of bloody pressure there, guys. It's going to make better bloody footage though, isn't it, if I rip this off? I'll probably get bloody soaked as well. So behind this cap, there's a lot of water upstream there. A lot of sewer. Shit. Come on, Bruce, your man or your mouse? Whoa! Bloody hell. Alright, I'll 
feed this jet down. Now I'm just hoping I can get this sorted without the next door neighbour's kids sticking their heads over the fence. You know, I had some little sticky beaks bloody uh, just shouting out over the fence saying, what you doing, what you doing? I mean, I don't want to say what I'm doing, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll continue on and hopefully those little tackers don't see what's going on. I mean, they don't need to know what's going on. I mean, no one needs to know what's going on, you know? It's uh, just between me and the Drain Cleaning Australia family. And of course, the, uh, the lovely owner of this property too. And guys, we are off to the races. And just gonna go easy does it for the start because I've had too many block drains flying up in my face in the last week or two. So it'd be nice to uh, have a little bit of a breather from that. But here we go. This is absolutely what life is all about. We are living the dream and boom, look at that. I mean, I don't like to blow my own trumpet, but I'm going to. Guys, that was iconic. It was like artwork. It was like bloody clockwork, guys. But you know, I can't take all the credit. It was a team effort. Give yourselves a mighty old, big old school bloody pat on that back of yours. How could I forget them? The MVP of Drain Cleaning Australia. Family, there we are. I think it could be the new mascot. Anyway, let's fire this jet up, guys. the undies out the way. We don't want the undies getting dirty, mate. Hey, I reckon we've already bloody cleared this. Look at this, it's bloody... Oh, this will put some hairs on your chest, mate. Yeah, we're definitely through it, guys. It's uh, here. Yeah, it was just where we thought it was going to be, between the inspection shaft and the main sewer on the road there. This is the dream. This is the great Australian dream. And look, well, I can't speak on behalf of every Australian, you know, because we've all got different dreams. But I'll tell you what, it's my bloody dream, mate. This is an absolute joy. Drain here, there she is, and oh, oh, there's a little basket trap in here. And yeah, I mean, that's supposed to prevent any, uh, any food scraps getting stuck down the drain, but she's not doing her job. You're right, you bloody legends. We got this little whip hose out. I don't know if I've shown you guys this whip hose before, but uh, you can see she connects onto the normal hose just here for the smaller drain. So this, uh, you know, I, I don't know what size this drain is down here. I'm assuming it's in 50 mil, but it could be in 40 mil. But we'll uh, we'll send the hose down, guys, and uh, we'll give her an absolute blasting. I don't know. It doesn't want to go down there though. So what's down there? It might be another great. I might, um, yeah, I might send this little whip hose down the floor waste drain first, guys, and then we'll try and tackle this channel grade after. You know, the blockage is going to be downstream of this floor waste drain, guys, because obviously the channel drain will connect into the side of this floor waste drain. As they're both blocked, we'll jet this out, give her an absolute blasting, and show her who's boss. a messy one but I wouldn't have it any other way and I don't know about you guys but I'm sure you feel the same way all right let's crack on you bloody legends let's continue
Well, we're getting somewhere. There's some sort of progress now. Come on, you good thing. There we go. There we go. Oh, you little ripper. Give yourself a big bloody pat on the back. You've done well. You've smashed that one out the park, guys. The old channel drain needs a bit of attention after, though, but uh, let's just enjoy this nice free running drain for a second. And it's, uh, it's just going to be an uphill battle trying to keep this clean, guys, because I mean, that little basket waste is trying its heart out. But it's never going to prevent everything from getting past it, you know. It's, uh, anyway, let's continue. Got me little trowel out, guys, and it's the designated driver for this job. So, anyway, oh, she's oh, if only she was a little smaller, but that's all right. We can uh, we can use her like this, and we'll scoop her in like that. Oh, lovely! I mean, there's days like this where I absolutely I just pinch myself, and I'm thinking to myself, how did I end up? Cracking the code and getting the ultimate of jobs. You know, being a plumber and being a block drain specialist, as I say, it's a bloody dream, guys. Oh, look at Speaking of dreams, I mean, that is what, that's a definition of what dreams are made of, guys. She is flowing like the day she came out the showroom. Grease trap. And there's the kitchen grease or fat or whatever you want to call it. All I'm going to tell you is you wouldn't want to drink it. Well, you know what time it is, guys. It's time to have some bloody fun. Let's clear this grease trap. She's an absolute beast of a thing, mate. And we're going to tackle the beast. It's what we do. The number of people I got bloody uh, walking by and stopping in the car park to watch this show Literally getting a free show, they could have the popcorn. Yeah, hello there, man. I see you watching me. You don't want to get too close, though, brother, because uh, this will be all over your car in about five seconds. <laughs> so, guys, if I haven't properly explained to you, but the outlet of the grease trap, which is where I'm standing under here, we're trying to get to that from inside the grease trap to clear it. She's chockers about there, and uh, oh, here we bloody go, guys. This is what it's all about. Set, uh, and we're going to probably try and go down the gully, guys. The, the gully near the outlet. All right, not having too much luck from getting it inside the grease trap, so we'll go down the gully. But I've just taken the undies off. They're going to really help, guys, because uh, there's nothing like a fresh pair of undies and, you know, just wiping the hose. It's what it's all about. Because let's be honest, no one wants a bloody greasy hose. <laughs> hey, and we are away to the races. <laughs> in it. I'm literally dripping wet. <laughs> oh man. I'm move this camera here. This. Sorry guys, I had to clean the camera. Can you see that now? Have we cleared it already? We're away again, guys. Whoa! <laughs> oh. If I if I wasn't soaked before, I am absolutely covered in head to toe now, guys. Wow. Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I am absolutely covered in it, guys. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? I mean, most mornings I wake up and I bloody give myself a good old pinch because I'm just wondering how I ended up winning the lottery when it comes to jobs, guys. This is the dream. Let's, uh, let's get serious now, guys. 